Hello everybody, Mr. Stixman here, and welcome back to Stormworks. In today's video, there's a lot to get done, but the main thing is we're gonna give our new boat diesel electric power. Let's get to work. Okay, so yeah, today we're gonna install our diesel engines, our diesel electric power, I should say. But just before we do that, there are lots of other features we need to add as well, some really important things. So we're gonna install those first. And I will just say as well that I'm planning on obviously taking this for a test run quite soon. So right now I'm thinking this video, then one more video where we're gonna install the pumps on the, the fuel tanks and stuff like that over here. And you know, some few extra details. We're also probably sort out the bridge in the next video as well. And then the one after that, we're actually going to take it for a proper test run. But the thing is, that is actually going to be kind of like a real test run. <laughs> because at the moment, we can't even afford to buy the jet fuel in order to sell it at a massive profit. So we're going to have to make some money first using this barge here. Anyway, let's get to work. And down here, I'm gonna add some ladders on the side. So if I just put my grid mode back on, there we go, we can see what we're doing now. Um, so yeah, basically I'm gonna cut in a hole, like into the hull here on the side, and then put them in there. So if we just make a three wide gap, then go all the way down here. I'm not sure how big to make it really, but let's just say it's like that. And then I'm gonna go in one more actually, and we'll see why that is in just a minute. But now we'll just go and get our ladder piece. And we'll just bring that all the way down to about there. How much is that? That is nine blocks. Let's go one more just in case. <laughs> just in case it's not enough. You may have noticed I just forgot symmetry mode, but I'll put it on now so everything should be all right. And then I'll, uh, I'll erase the blocks down here and on the other side as well. And we're just going to put wedges in the gap here. And there we go, it's done. So the reason why I've done this, and I'll just give that a paint as well, is that I think it just, you know, it looks a bit more interesting than having these uh, ladder steps just sticking out the side. Because if we do it like this, look, it's completely flush with the side of the deck. So we don't get, you know, still get that kind of detail on there, but you don't have to have it sticking out. And uh, I just prefer that look. And it, yeah, it's pretty cool, I think. The next thing we're going to add is a guardrail, which goes all the way along the side of the boat here. And we're going to start it back here, just next to our ladder. So we just get a 4x1 wedge. Then I'm going to uh, have a, a line of, an extra line of blocks there. And that's going to be the kind of starting point, the support for our guardrail. And then it's going to run all the way along. I'm going to have another one of these on the other end. Okay, so there's our guardrail. But the thing is, these are four high. These are four blocks high as you can see right here. So what I was thinking of doing is actually raising up this barrier around the bow as well, just to match that. And it'd be quite easy to do, I think. So I'll just do that and then we'll see how it looks. Yeah, check that out, it's pretty good, I reckon. The bow being a bit taller, I think that works really well with our guardrail. Um, and what I will do as well, is just come over here and cut some holes into the front side. There we go, that's better isn't it? So it just carries around here. Um, and then I think I might actually put some wedges in here just to make them look more interesting. And then I'll just carry it around the side as well. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I just think that's a bit more interesting, isn't it, than having just a, a normal rectangular kind of cut in there. Another plan I have is to actually paint the deck uh, a grey as well, a light grey colour. Um, so we'll just get the maybe plain fill. Yeah, I reckon that works a bit, you know. We'll still leave the actual uh, superstructure here probably white. I might actually give some details to it, but I think that's going to be white for the most part. And I'll have the deck grey and we'll do this part of the deck as well there. Maybe just paint these bits. Because then it gives that kind of, you know, look that it actually has a, a grippy surface. Now we might as well add these holes into the stern as well. So if we just go back here and we'll try and do that as well. And that's done as well. Whether it'll actually be useful to us, I don't know. We might put some rope anchors or cleats under there actually. So yeah, probably we'll, <laughs> we'll be able to use them at some point. But either way, it's a nice bit of detail, isn't it? Um, I guess we better put one over here as well, right? This is really coming together now, isn't it? There's so much more work to be done. 
But I am quite enjoying this. Oh, I just missed a bit of painting there though, on the side. That's better. Okay. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is round off the edges at the stern as well. Um, so we'll just go and bring that all the way down. A bit like we did on the bow, actually. Pretty much exactly the same thing. Okay, lovely job. So now we've got that shape just curving around the sides and now is going to be a really important change. This is a very important change for several reasons actually. So yes, we're actually going to extend the hull downwards, okay? So it's going to be exactly the same shape, but we're going to add a few extra blocks on. Um, one reason is to increase buoyancy, which is always going to help, but also one of the very, very important reasons is because the bases of our fuel tanks, which I'll just go inside and you can see them here, the bases of those are literally the hull of the boat itself. And I'll just paint this white so we can see a bit better. There we go. So that is literally, you know, the, the base of the fuel tanks as well as the hull as well. Um, and so we're going to just completely erase that level and bring it down, you know, maybe three blocks or so. And then we've got enough space under the tanks, hopefully to avoid damage if we do hit a rock. I think three blocks would be enough. Um, I hope so anyway. <laughs> anyway, let's get that done. And by the way, guys, I just realized that just the hull that we deleted there, the flat surface, is worth $13,000 just for that. <laughs> this thing is going to be so expensive when it's done. I mean, it's already, look at that, it's 76 grand. It's actually more like 89,000, of course, with the hull there. And it's going to get a bit more expensive. It's probably going to be well over 100,000 when we finished it. Anyway, let's now uh, extend this down by a few blocks. And that's done now. So we've got an extra three blocks here of depth for the hull. And inside now, we don't have any bases <laughs> for our fuel tanks anymore, so we're going to add some in. Now, my plan for these is to use wedges at the base of the tanks, but on the outside underneath. So inside the tank, it'll be nice and flat. But underneath, because we're not going to actually see the underside of these tanks, I'm going to use wedges. That's going to give us a lighter surface, and it'll increase buoyancy in the hull at the same time. So I will just go around the edges of these tanks, with our ordinary blocks, so you can't really notice any different there. But then on the inside of those, we're going to put our wedges. Alright, that's done now. And if we have a look inside the tank, you can see it's absolutely normal. There's nothing different about the base of that on this side. But underneath, it's just, you know, entirely wedges apart from the edges. And the idea is, of course, that we don't ever see that part. And I'll probably, because we have a bit of a gap here, if I just put my grid back on, um, we have a bit of a gap here. I am, you know, most likely going to put some supports here so that it looks like it's actually standing on the hull to some degree. Um, I'll figure that out another time, but, you know, there'll be some supports there. But what I do have to do now is actually cut or copy and paste the, uh, the base of this tank over to the other tanks as well because they don't have any bases yet. Now that's done, the hull is extended, the tanks are now back to normal with a bit of space underneath them as well. In a minute we're going to go into the, uh, the sort of superstructure area and build an interior which is going to lead down to an engine room. We're going to install our engines um, and we're going to have access to the fluid jets and that sort of thing with, you know, staircases. So we'll get onto that in just a moment. But these red squares that I put here are annoying me, so I'm going to change them right now. And really, I just had them there to show us exactly where the center of the tank is. But instead, I'm just going to put a fluid anchor. And this may change in the next episode when we're focusing on these tanks and how we're going to get fuel in and out of them. But just for now, I'll put them there. Of course, the gauges are going to go as well. I'm going to have a proper station over here or like a dashboard where we can see all of the, the gauges, the dials, the switches and all that sort of thing. So yeah, these will be a bit different very soon. Now we're going to turn our attention over to the superstructure because we need to have a door here so we can get into this room. Um, and then we're going to work from there. So let's get some, let's make a, a bit of a gap here. And actually, symmetry mode. There we go. So we've got a gap for our door. And then what I was thinking of doing as well is having some portholes, some windows. So we'll do that in a minute. Anyway, let's just put this door in here. And then we'll cut some holes as well for the portholes. So we'll get maybe three blocks in and just do a couple here like that maybe. I think that would be good. 
Okay, very nice. And what's also good about these portholes uh, is that they're quite light, actually. They weigh six, but they actually take up nine blocks, nine ordinary blocks. So we've even, you know, taken off just a little bit of extra weight there as well. This thing is getting, you know, rather stern heavy at the moment. So it would help, of course, to lighten up things where we can. And also, I might move... Have I got a battery in here yet? I think I do somewhere. No, I don't. But what I am going to do is put two batteries right in here in the front. In fact, I'll do that right now. And their location might well change. I am going to make sure we've got access to them so we can repair them if we need to. So, yeah, they'll probably change, but they'll be in this general area. And because they're so heavy, they weigh 800 each. They're also 10 grand each, unfortunately. But that's going to just, you know, keep the boat sort of... Um, way down a bit at the bow and so we're not tipping back all the time anyway we'll stick with those for the moment and we might even have a third one at some point but uh, let's go back over here this is going to be a very important change to our creation now because i'm thinking of having a staircase um, and I'm, I've got a plan for this area of the room as well. We're going to do this in the next episode, but I've got a plan for this. That's going to work very, very well. It's going to be really handy and useful. But over here, I'm actually going to extend this room slightly out, actually quite a lot out, maybe to around here now, okay? So we've still got this area underneath the deck up there behind the bridge, but it's not going to be anywhere near as large, but there's a good reason for that. So let's go inside and check it out okay now this wall is going to come down uh, and also we're going to get rid of this upper deck level as well just inside now this part of the deck is actually going to be uh, gone <laughs> in just a second here. I'll just put it there so we can you know make it nice and easy to see what's going on but yeah now let's actually erase that and what we're going to do is have well maybe a couple of blocks here because this is going to be the sort of entrance to our staircase which is going to go down um, onto a level here we're going to create a new flooring area just under here um, with the engines on and then we're going to have another staircase which goes down towards our fluid jet so we can repair them and access them uh, and all that kind of stuff okay so let's go back up here now and begin to well <laughs> create our descent i suppose down into the hull We'll start with just getting our stair top piece here and put that down there. And that's how big our staircase is going to be. Now my thinking behind this, and there is actually a reason why I'm putting the stairs in this position and like this. And that's because if we put our line of symmetry mode on here, now it's not going to be perfect, but I'm trying to balance the weight a bit. And that's because, you know, as the bigger a boat gets, I mean, it's not quite so important to have the weight exactly balanced and you can do things to balance it, you know, in different ways, of course. But when you put stairs in and these weigh, uh, they have a mass of six each, okay, and then you put the railings in and they are quite heavy as well. Each piece has a mass of two and we're going to have quite a few of these. And when you do that on one side of the boat, when it's all kind of placed in together it does have an effect and it can cause a little bit of imbalance between you know the the two sides of the boat so I'm trying to put this thing relatively you know sort of even either side of the center line as you can see here and that should help us a little bit with keeping the weight as central as possible so we're going to now extend out this uh, level a bit anyway let's have our railings on now so I'm going to have a corner piece over here I think and then we'll put the extension all the way along the side. So of course, when we come through the door, we can't just fall down there and kill ourselves. <laughs> that would be great, wouldn't it? That'd be fantastic. And then perhaps we'll have another corner piece here. And also we need to go down at this point. Okay, and the railings are done now. So next we're gonna come down here and actually focus on, there you go, you can see what it looks like above as well. But yeah, now we're going to come down here and figure out a sort of passageway into this big open room here where the engines are going to be. So we need to decide on a platform. I reckon that should be only one, two, three. Three is enough to walk through, I think, definitely. So if we just make a wall here and then we'll bring this back and kind of seal off this room a bit on either side because we're not going to have it just open up into the entire hull here that would be you know massive and it's unnecessary so we'll just bring this along a bit and decide how big we want this to be now if we have a look here at this wall on the other side that actually matches up with where the door is and the wall above on the upper deck or sort of main level deck area 
So that works out quite well, I think, if we just go with that. And I'll bring that wall back to here, and then perhaps just bring it across, so it comes across the side of the stairs. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Much better now. Much better. Okay, that's perfect. That's plenty of room. I will just add, actually, another level here. Then I'm going to bring this level out a bit. Not too far. Let's just put it up to there for now. We'll bring it a couple of blocks away from our fuel tanks. And that is where our engines are going to be. If we just put an engine on now, let's make sure it fits there. Because <laughs> we may have to go down a level. Okay, yeah, that is... Very, I mean, it fits perfectly, right? But only just. So what I might do is actually lower this floor down just one more. Um, and so we've got a little bit of room on top of the engines, you know, just in case we need it. And to do that, all I'm going to do is get some stairs. And I just think we've come down one level here with this staircase, right? I think that's all we need to do, to be honest. That should do the job just fine. That should be perfect, actually. There's an engine, so look at that. Much more space just above it. One block, I think, and then we can do stuff with that if we need to, you know, like run pipes, throw it in, put extra components or whatever we need. I've just realized something, though. I'm going to have another staircase, aren't I? <laughs> and I think that's going to go here, actually. So what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll extend this out a bit. We're going to have this, but we'll, uh, we'll have it further on. Okay, let's just have our next staircase going down from here. So we have, you know, three blocks in between. And of course, I'm going to have the wedges either side of it as well there. So we'll do that. And I think all I need to do actually is copy and paste the staircase that we already have. Um, at least, hopefully we can do that anyway. <laughs> let's find out if it's going to work or not. Yeah, look at that. That's gone very well indeed. I think though, yeah, okay, there's, <laughs> there's one extra block at the end. What we could do is either put some stairs or just some wedges underneath. I reckon stairs will do very well there. We'll just have an extra step at the bottom. But otherwise, I think that's gone very, very well. And now we're down at the very lowest level of the boat. Um, I'm going to now add a wall on this side of the stairs. So if it's too wide, I think we can still walk, you know, either side of the stairs if we want to. At least on this side, can I think uh, over here we might have to do a bit of uh, deleting. Just, yeah, like that, you know, kind of thing. Uh, but now we can walk on either side of the stairs to get back behind and to the other fluid jets. Um, and at the same time, we're going to have a massive wall which goes all the way along. And that's going to be really handy, not just to, you know, separate different parts of the, the boat out, but also if we get damage, say, right at the stern here, and this area fills up with water and floods, the water will not get through into this section of the boat. And so we are going to actually section off certain areas just for that reason. If we get damage, if we get flooding, it's not going to just, you know, sink the whole boat. We should be able to float even if we can't really move very well. <laughs> that's the idea anyway. And that's how it's going to be looking right now. If I just get the uh, symmetry mode off, uh, it might be able to see a bit better. So these areas here are completely empty. I will actually have to seal this off as well, of course. Back here, look, if I just put my grid mode back on, you can see here is actually where the smokestack is. So if we go right up there, you can see we come out here. Now that is, you know, that's where we're going to route our exhaust. So the engines are not too far away and what we'll probably end up doing where are we i'm lost now <laughs> i'm lost in my own boat there we are um the engine exhaust can be routed through the deck here into these sections so we won't be able to see much of that and then up into the funnels there and that should be perfect actually um now if we come through here i will just seal this area off entirely I'm also just deleting so many wedges here as well. That's going to increase the buoyancy, reduce the weight, and all of that stuff should actually have an effect uh, at some point as well. But for now, I think that works quite well. Now, what we're going to do soon is spawn it in, but I reckon we should put some motors and engines in first, get this thing sorted out, and then we'll spawn it in and see how it all is. Okay, now we better finish off this flooring for the actual engine room. So I'm going to go right to the edge of the boat, I think, at the moment. Um, put symmetry mode back on there. And yeah, I'm going to go right to the edge of the boat. How far do we actually want to go? 
I reckon we'll go one block away from the fuel tank as well. And what I'm also planning on doing, maybe uh, in a future episode, is also having a walkway that goes down here and then alongside our fuel tanks. So yes, we can repair them from inside the hull if we need to, if they ever get damaged. But that's not what we're going to do for this episode. So what I'll do at the moment is have just a guardrail, I think, which goes all of the way across from one end to the other. Just like that, and then yeah, we can change it in the future. This is a massive room, but I'll tell you what, guys, we're going to need it because we are going to have, I think, four large diesel engines. <laughs> so it's going to take up, you know, a good amount of space. I'm also going to get some wedges here and just, uh, yeah, we'll get the blue. And these, these are the ladders actually back here, right? These are the ladders sticking into the hole. So I'm going to smooth that off as well with, with some wedges there, and they're part of this room now. Right, how are we going to power this thing? Because now we're at that stage. I've chosen to use one medium electric motor per fluid jet. I think that's going to give us plenty of power, but also it's not going to drain too much power as well, because that's another really important thing. And also, what we do have to do is, well, we, we somehow have to get the electric motors. Oh, yes, I need to lower these as well, don't I? I need to lower down our fluid jets, actually. So let's do that first. Okay, so I've lowered down our fluid jets now. I've painted them a dark grey as well, a really dark grey there. And I'm thinking as well of actually just, uh, you know, raising up our level of light grey underneath. This might change, but I'd quite like to have a different colour or a different shade along the bottom of the hull as well. But yeah, that's going to work now. And if we go inside, now these fluid jets are much closer to our floor level here, which is quite handy. And what we can do now is literally, if we just cut some holes here, right? We're going to put pipes in there, like this, and then we're going to put our fluid intakes for the jets just right into the bottom of the hull. And there you go, you can see them underneath, that is perfect. And then all we have to do on top of that is put some motors in, and it's just so simple this setup, because all we're going to do is take the medium motor and chuck one on each jet if they're going to fit. We'll just have to add an extra pipe out here so they can fit. And there we go, check that out. Perfect, such a simple setup, right? Motors, intake, jet, done. <laughs> done for now. Back up here to our engines. I've decided at the moment not to use a modular engine for this. I'm going to use the normal diesel engines. I might change my idea on that at some point, but just for now, I'm choosing to use these instead. This is what I'm thinking of, right? I've got two engines on either side of the center line, so four in total. Um, and then in the middle, I'm going to have one large generator that all of the uh, the engines are powering. Now, I tried this using two engines with one large generator each. And actually, that didn't quite provide as much power as having four engines into one large generator. So that's why I'm going with this at the moment. But as you can see, if we go around here, there's a lot of room to walk on all sides. And that's really important because we want to be able to fix these things if they... No, well, <laughs> hopefully we're not going to blow them up or anything, but there is a chance, right? So, uh, yeah, that's that's the plan. And what I'm going to do now is link these together with pipes and then put them into one generator, which will go right in the centre of them. So it should look quite neat and tidy, actually. Yeah, look at that. So what I've done is I've put the pipes into the floor, then they're going up through this gearbox here, straight into the generator. I don't have a clutch at the moment. Um, you know, I might add that, although I think we've got enough room for it. Not sure. Yeah, we might have enough room for the big clutch. Depends how big it is. But I can always make room for that if I want to. I think that would be okay, though. Right, let's jump on board then and have a look at our work so far. It is quite heavy at the stern, isn't it? Uh, don't worry. Of course, we're going to sort that sort of thing out, uh, you know, further down the line. But it's not too bad, right? And we do know it floats. And now we've got even more buoyancy than before we did the float test. So I'm sure it's going to be absolutely fine. Let's go inside now. I've got my flashlight here so we can just see what we're doing because I haven't installed any lights yet. Um, but this room's good, actually. I like the portholes there. That's good so far. And as I say, this area of the room is going to be very, very useful in the next video. But let's go down here for now. Staircase is looking just fine. We can even fit... Can we fit between there? No, we can't. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, that's brilliant. That's really good, actually. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that, to be honest. There's loads of room here, and actually what I'm thinking of doing is having a fuel tank which is underneath the floor. So it'd be attached to the flooring here, but underneath. We won't be able to see it, but the pipes will just go straight down into it. It'd be so, you know, simple and easy. Um, and we can make it any size we want, really. 
Now we might want to section off this part, as I say, we are going to put more sections in, in case we get damage and flooding and everything. So, you know, these guard rails will be here for now, but this sort of area is subject to change, of course. And then we'll go down the final staircase here to the fluid jets. Perfect. We can repair those nice and easy if we need to. We can get round the stairs easily as well. Um, and I'll probably end up putting some tools down here so that we can repair them. You know, that kind of thing. Maybe lights as well, all that sort of thing. Um, but that will come in the future. But as far as the work we've done already is concerned, I'm very, very happy with that. Let's go back upstairs. These guardrails are perfect, aren't they? We'll try the ladders as well. I mean, we know, we know they're going to work, don't we? But <laughs> they look pretty good. I like that. I like that design. Just having them indented into the hull. I do quite like that, actually. And, of course, that gives really good protection. Apart from this bit. <laughs> What do you reckon, guys? Let me know in the comments down below what you think. By the way, thank you for your suggestions. I read every single one, of course. Every comment, every suggestion. And I really do appreciate that. So I'm sure we'll be adding some of those in as we move forward with this boat. Now, we're almost at the end of the video. What I'm going to do, though, because I'm, I'm still going to do some work on the engines off camera. I'm going to sort of set them up, wire them in, you know, put the pipes in and all that stuff, put the fuel tank in. So I'm going to sort all that stuff out and then I'll bring you back in at the end of the video. We'll take a look at the work before we finish. Alright guys, the engines are now properly installed, so let's go and take a look before we finish our video here today. Now I do appreciate that actually it's quite dark in here, so I might brighten it up a bit in the edit afterwards. But yeah, the pipe work is very, very simple. And uh, if we go just underneath the floor here, you'll see the fuel tank. And that's all it is. It goes all the way along and all four engines feed into one tank here. Then inside we've just got um, the base, you know, lined with wedges to increase the size a bit. And I haven't measured this yet exactly, but I reckon it's over 10,000 litres. So that's pretty good because, you know, I am going to try and actually save diesel as we're going here because it is career mode. <laughs> so I don't want to be burning off too much fuel too quickly. So hopefully we won't need that much. But the good thing is we can always extend it. Look at that. We've got so much space in here. We can extend it as much as we want. Now, in terms of the cooling, that's this pipe here and this pipe here. This is the fuel one in the center. So, again, we just go right down through the floor and these pipes go straight out and it's seawater cooled, these engines at the moment. And I don't believe these engines uh, pick up scaling like the modular engines do. At least, I don't think they do. So that system should be absolutely fine. Um, then we've got the exhausts here. Um, they all go into one pipe. And again, I think that's absolutely fine in these engines. But yeah, the, uh, the exhausts go along here through the ceiling and then up into the smokestacks just about here. There you go, just up here. And then out the funnels at the top. So that should work really, really nicely. And then last but not least, of course, we have the air intake. Now that goes up into the ceiling again and then out just over here at the front in these two intakes there. So I'm not sure actually where real ships have their air intakes, but I thought that's quite a good place. So yeah, that's what I've got there. Perhaps they should be a bit higher. But anyway, that's uh, that's what I've chosen for the moment. And I've also done a bit of weight saving as well, actually. There is more to do, but just, you know, in these areas these compartments at the stern i've done quite a bit of weight saving i've changed blocks into wedges as you can see there and i've done that all the way through to be honest but yeah there's a lot more we can do i mean for example i can make this wall right here um you know 100 percent wedges that's going to be so much lighter and there'll be a lot more buoyancy as well so that should be something i'll do soon but that's all we've got time for in today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As you can see, it is a bit <laughs> it's a bit heavy at the stern, but we will sort that out, of course, so don't worry about that. But very soon, we're going to get this thing actually moving, and we're going to do a bit of a setup mission before we do our main mission, in which we're going to make $10 million in one go. Also, I've already started working on the next video, actually. I've got plans for that. We are going to then uh, sort out a way of getting fuel in and out of our tanks there. And also, actually, I need to figure out a way of refueling the uh, the diesel generators as well. So we'll, we'll do that next time. I'm also going to start working on the actual bridge as well and get some controls and levers and all sorts of things going on in there. So that's ready to go in the video after the next one. But everything seems to be good so far, guys. Do let me know in the comments down below what you think, if you've got any suggestions as well. As I say, I do read every single one, and I really, really appreciate it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video, guys. We're almost at 900 subscribers now, and, uh, and of course, we're well on the way to 1,000, which is just incredible. And I need to thank all of you very, very much for that. But anyway, thank you so much, guys. Take care. 
and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.